What's up everybody? It's your boy Dapper Dub here. Today we're going to be going over a troll video about talismans. So we're going to talk about all the different talismans you can get, why you want to get them, and also we're going to talk about the Mount Menagerie, okay? So the talismans we're going to go over today are going to be the Llamas talismans, then we're going to go into the Meow and Corgi talismans, then we'll move into the Shmeep, <clears throat> uh, then Panda, then Rat, and then finally, Centaur and Griffin Talismans. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types of talismans we're going to be going over today. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So what are talismans and why do you want them? Uh, talismans are used to craft mounts in the Mount Taming Bitch here. So we're going to go to the Mount Taming Bitch. Uh, you can find one in a club. But the first ones we're going to talk about are the Llama Talismans. Now, <clears throat> there are seven different types of Llamas you can create. And these Llamas uh, all require the Llama Talisman, right? And they all also require different materials. But the point is you need these Talismans to create the Llamas. All right. So where do you get the Llama Talismans? Well, Llama Talismans can be found anywhere in any adventure world. <clears throat> But they're very rare. So these are one of the most common talismans you can get. Uh, because you can just really farm literally anything. And you'll be able to find uh, one of these talismans. Like I said, they are very rare to get. But hey, you have a chance to get them anywhere. So pretty cool. So Llama, they got seven. And you can farm them anywhere. The next set of talismans we're going to go over are the Meowt talismans. So there's also seven different types of Meowts you can get. At least from the Mount Taming Bench. There are different Mount type mounts you can get. But you can only get that from the store or from Luxion. Uh, but these are the ones we're going to go over that you need the actual talismans for. So where do you get Mount Talismans? You can get Mount Talismans anywhere in Uber 7 and below Adventure Worlds. Okay. So if you're farming Uber 8 or higher, you're never going to get a Mount Talisman. All right. So if you're farming and you need these mounts. Make sure that you're farming in Uber 7 and below. So, you can also buy these in the marketplace. I like to buy these more common mounts, uh, just because, or more common talismans and create the mounts, just because it's a lot easier to obtain uh, flux to get the, the talisman rather than farming for them. But all the rare ones, I actually farmed all myself and got those talismans, such as the Griffin, which we'll talk about later in the video. The next uh, set we're going to talk about are the Corgis. There's also seven different corgis, right? And they follow the same guidelines as the Meowths. So you can get them in Uber 7 or below Adventure Worlds. So if you're farming Uber 8 or above, you're never going to get one of these corgi talismans, okay? I think all the corgi different types of mounts you can actually get inside of this uh, mount taming bench. Besides, you know, the dragon. There's a corgi looking dragon. I know it's weird, but hey, that, that is uh, one of the ones you can't make from the taming bench. But the point of the Corgi Talismans, Uber 7 and below. Alright, the next one we're going to go over are the Shmeeps. So let's go down to the Shmeeps. So there's a few different types of Shmeeps. There's actually 11, alright? And these Shmeeps, they're not my favorite, but hey, you need them for the mastery. <laughs> None of them really look good in my opinion, okay? They're, they're, they're Sheeps, right? So I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan, but hey, I got them all for the mastery. Uh point is you can get these in uber 8 and higher adventure worlds so you can get these anywhere in uber 8 or higher uh so that uh, up to uber 10 right and uh these follow the same guidelines as the rats and the pandas okay so when we go through those we'll explain uh but if you're farming in uber 7 or below you're never going to get a shmeep talisman okay next one now we're going to talk about the pandas we're going to talk about the panda talismans uh, there's also 11 different pandas and these can be found in uber 8 or higher adventure worlds so if you're farming uber 7 or below you're never gonna find these okay uh, some of the pandas actually look pretty cool okay so if you actually want a pretty cool looking mount uh, some of the pandas do look pretty dope uh, so I would recommend you know farming those if you want a cool looking mount uh, that not a lot of people have also since there's uh, 11 shmeep and 11 pandas they typically go for a little bit more uh, just because you need more of them for the mastery, okay? The next talisman we're going to talk about are the rat talismans. So there, if you notice that I clicked on this, there are a lot of rats. 
Uh, there's a total of 19 different rats. Uh, some of these actually look pretty cool. Um, I mean, they're rats. You didn't think they would look cool, but hey, the the rat talismans they actually create some pretty cool mount art, pretty cool mounts. Now, these rat talismans follow the same thing as the Shmeep and the pandas. You can get them in Uber 8 or higher adventure worlds. So if you're farming them in Uber 7 or below, you're never going to get a rat talisman. Uh, so quit farming for them if you're trying to there. Um, make sure you're in Uber 8 or above. The next one we're going to talk about are the centaurs. Now, centaurs have been out for a long time. Um, there's actually five different types of centaurs. Some of them look pretty cool. Uh, but get these centaurs for farming uber 9 and higher adventure worlds okay so if you're farming uber 8 and lower you're never gonna find a centaur talisman now these are kind of one of the most rare talismans just because like hey you have to get to uber 9 to farm them but at the same time everyone farms that's been playing the game for a while uber 9 and higher so a lot of people actually get a chance to get this and a lot of people have already gotten a lot of these centaur talismans so uh, they may be going down in price in the marketplace just because everyone already has them. Uh, so, Centaur Talismans, Uber 9 and above. <sighs> Last but not least, the Griffin Talismans. Alright, so the Griffin Talismans, uh, they're used to make the Griffins. And there are... Look. There are four different types of Griffins. Um... <clears throat> And these actually look really, really cool. The the Griffins are actually one of my favorite, or they are my favorite of all the craft amounts that you can make in this mount um, taming bench. The the my favorite one is actually this one is called a uh, Falmanar, um, and it's got it's like a Neon City based one, and it just looks really, really, really cool. It is my favorite one. Anyway, you get these Griffin talismans from <clears throat> very rarely in Cursed Skyland Worlds. That means you have to go into the Skyland Worlds and then you have to go into the Cursed Skyland Biome to be able to get these. This makes these the rarest in the game. So if you go to your marketplace and you look, you'll notice that the Griffin Talismans are going to be the most expensive. Even though there's only four of them to get, the Griffin Talismans are, are the most rare because you have to farm Skylands and you have to farm them in that specific area. Alright. <laughs> now... So you kind of know that uh, what all the talismans are, how many you need of each one. Now we're going to talk about the Mount Menagerie and what that is and what that can do. So what the Mount Menagerie is, it's a utility club fixture that can be placed in any club world. Okay, You have to be level 3 to place it uh, in your club. Um, <clears throat> but the Mount Menagerie allows clubs to showcase mounts using leash blocks. So you can showcase any one of the mounts you get. And also uh, you can even showcase like one that I have here or a Gonda. Or anything like that so it's pretty cool to have um, it also grants you additional jumps and it gives you an increased drop chance of finding specific talismans that's why kind of why I'm going over it right now so depending on the tier and rank of the fixture will increase the rate that you can get these talismans and also at the very last tier they got a special thing for you so we'll just wait for that so this thing can be leveled up three times uh, at tier one it gives you one leash block so you can show off one mount uh, it gives you two jumps, and it increases the drop chance of dropping uh, Corgi, Meowth, Shmeep, and Centaur Talisman. So those four different types, it increases the chance of. It's really good. Um, at Tier 2, it gives you three Leash Blocks, so you can show off three different mounts, right? And you get five jumps. But the main basic thing that you want from these are the increased drop chance, okay? So this increases your uh, drop chance two times more than Tier 1, so it's twice as good as Tier 1. Uh, of dropping llama, rat, and panda talismans, as long and all the talismans in tier one. So that includes corgi, mount, shmeep, centaur, llama, rat, and panda. But pretty much all of them except for the griffin talisman. So that's uh, two times more than tier one. And at tier three, so this is what you really want to go for, okay? So at tier three, the mount menagerie, it gives you five leash blocks, so you can show off five mounts. You can uh, get five extra jumps from that, but who cares about jumps, right? Uh, but the best thing is, it increases the chance four times more than tier one of dropping of dropping Griffin talismans and all the talismans in tier one and tier two. So literally, all of the talismans are four times more likely to drop 
And the best thing is it changes the restriction to Griffin Talisman drops to Uber 5 and higher worlds rather than only Cursed Skyland. That means you can farm Griffin Talismans at any world in Uber 5 or higher and you have a four times more likely chance to get these, okay? So that is going to change the game uh, for you trying to farm for your Griffins. So if you want to farm for the Griffin and you don't want to spend all that flux to buy the Talisman, get a Mount Menagerie level 3. Now, a bunch of clubs have these. So if you want to really find one, uh, just say, hey, I'm looking for a club with a level 3 Mount Menagerie and Global. And hopefully someone will add you to that and you'll be able to get that, okay? Because that really changes the game. So, <clears throat> final, final statement here. Make sure you get the Mount Menagerie level 3. You're able to get four times more chances of getting all of the Talismans. And it restricts the Cursed Skylands restriction from the griffin talisman which is ju it just makes it so much easier to get guys like really go for that all right <clears throat> that pretty much sums it up uh, i hope you did enjoy the video if you did like it feel free to leave a like if you want to leave a comment and tell me your favorite uh mount tamed uh mount which of mine was that uh griffin as you saw earlier um <clears throat> Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'm making a video every day as for as long as I can think of ideas. So uh, if you want to get first to that content, uh, hit that subscribe button. Last but not least, uh, <clears throat> I have a Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, I'll have a link in the description. A bunch of people from Trover there. Um, you can talk to, and it's all for, also for all servers. So I have it for PC, PS4, Xbox, and uh both the PS4 servers as well. So if you want to talk to people about uh, Trove and other games, that's the place to do it. I also have a, a Habitat Ally hunting if you're into hunting the a a Habitat Allies and also Club Quest stuff. Yeah. So it's really cool. All right, so without anything else to say, I'm getting out of here. I'm sure you're tired of listening to me. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Adios.